G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash and we are back with another Canadian reaction video. I know so many things about Canada since starting this channel. I've learned so many things about Canada, but there is always so much more stuff to learn. This video I come across on YouTube was uploaded about eight days ago. So hopefully there's some stuff in there that I don't know about Canada. Maybe there'll be some stuff I already know. Who knows? I'm excited. Let's get into it. But before we do, guys, please make sure to jump on, smash the like button, hit the notification bell for all future live streams and videos. Okay, I'm excited. Let's get into it. Did you know that Canadians are ready for the arrival of aliens? <laughs> yes, we do. And the fact do. that basketball is not an American game at all. No, it's not. Today, Canada, the second largest country in the world, is known to you for its vast landscapes. Oh cosmopolitan cities and friendly locals. Is that Lake Louise, but maybe? But there are many intriguing aspects of this country that remain little known. And I'll tell you 10 fascinating and little That's known Toronto, facts about Canada. That's Toronto, the CN Tower. One, country of lakes. Oh, yes. Canada is home to more lakes than any other country in the world, with a staggering total of over 2 million. 2 million? It accounts for about 9% of the world's fresh water, providing endless opportunities for boating, fishing, and travel. Wow. Two, longest coastline in the world. Oh, yeah, Canada's for coastline sure. extends over 202,080 kilometers, wow. making it the longest in the world. The country's coastline is as varied as it is vast, from the rugged cliffs of Newfoundland to the sandy beaches oh. of British Columbia. Three, polar bear shelter. Churchill. Manitoba is known as the polar bear capital of the world. Oh. Every year, hundreds of polar bears migrate to the oh, area, look at providing them. visitors with a unique opportunity to see oh. these majestic creatures in their natural oh habitat. Oh my gosh. Four, okay. origin of basketball. We're going to pause it there and just talk about the polar bears. Oh my gosh. Who has been to Manitoba and seen the polar bears just in their natural environment? Oh my gosh, the migration period, when they're all there, it would just be incredible. I have said it before, guys. I have seen a polar bear. I've seen a couple. SeaWorld here in Australia about 10 years ago, they had a polar bear exhibition for, I don't know how long it was there for, but yeah, I went and seen the polar bears. Oh my gosh, they just look so cute. The coastline, wow. The coastline in Canada is just the gift that keeps on giving would be absolutely beautiful, mate. Jump over to Prince Edward Island, go over there, the coastline over there, New Finland, oh my gosh, just imagine how cool that would be. Going over there, seeing all the icebergs, oh, just be incredible, mate, would be absolutely incredible. So, yeah, we've got some beautiful coastal drives here in Australia. Um, the ones that people come over for, the most popular one would be the Great Ocean Road Drive here in Australia. A lot of people come over to Australia to do that one. It's really, really cool. Nothing to the Canadian one. No way. I know what he's going to say about the basketball one, guys. I've seen the Heritage Minutes episode on it. It was invented in Canada. So that's pretty cool. Although basketball is often associated with the United States, it was actually invented by Canadians. Yeah. Dr. James Naismith, a yeah. physical education teacher from Ontario, created the game in 1891 while working in Massachusetts. 5. World's largest non-polar ice field. Wow. The Columbia Ice Field, located in the Canadian Rockies, is the largest non-polar ice field in the world. That's pretty cool, man. It feeds eight major glaciers <gasps> and is a popular destination for tourists wanting to experience the awe-inspiring power of nature. Okay, mate, imagine taking a helicopter ride along that ice field. That would be absolutely incredible, mate. It just looks awesome. So beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And the basketball, mate. Everyone always associates basketball with America, but, yeah, mate, that was a Canadian invention. I love the Heritage Minutes episode. I love the Heritage Minutes. There's still so many more that I've got to cover. We'll do that really, really soon. We'll jump on and do some reactions to the Heritage Minutes really, really soon. But, yeah, your moon, we talk about it all the time. We just had a full moon here in Australia. Do you know when you look at your moon, it's different to ours? So it's like upside down. So, yeah, 
next time you see the full moon in Canada, go and look at it. And then from our perspective, it's upside down. Yeah, I think that's how you explain it. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. Six, city named after a fictional character. <laughs> the city of Vulcan in Alberta has fully joined the Star Trek franchise. I'm getting despite sad. Despite being named long before the series was created. Today, Vulcan is a destination for Star Trek fans <laughs> with a replica of the USS Enterprise and an That's annual so Spock cool. Days Festival. Seven, first UFO landing site. In 1967, the city of St. Paul, Alberta, built the world's first UFO landing site as a unique centennial project. Yes. The landing site includes a map of Canada made from stones from each province and territory. Really? And remains a quaint tourist attraction to this day. Eight, birthplace. Okay, so I've done a video on that. It didn't do too well, but that's really, really cool. I really, really, I'd, I'd like to go there, mate. Sato sent me a really huge alien from Vulcan. So, yeah, mate, I've got a bit of Vulcan here with me. You guys know that I love William Shatner. So, yeah, I always talk about William Shatner. I don't know if a lot of you guys know, um, in the thumbnail of every one of our videos, there is a picture of William Shatner's head. Nearly everyone. We call it the Shat game. So, guys, in the thumbnails, mate, have a look for the photo of William Shatner. His head is there. It's pretty much the same photo all the time. But yeah, on YouTube, we call it the Shat game because, you know, we absolutely love William Shatner here in Australia. Mate, he's awesome. Love him. He's awesome. Place of the Macintosh apple tree. The Macintosh what? apple, one of the, the most Macintosh popular apple? apple varieties in the world, Ooh. was first discovered in Ontario in 1811. I don't even know if we get Today, those here. Canada continues to be a major producer of Macintosh apples, exporting them to countries around the world. Nine. Know if we get the Macintosh apple here, I, I don't think we do. I used to work for you know for Woolworths, mate, and we've got like Red Delicious, Royal Gala. I don't think I've ever seen the Macintosh apple. It does look a lot like the the Royal Gala one. What's it taste like, guys? Is it nice and sweet, nice and crunchy? I, I don't know. I I don't know. Sanctuary of Spirit Bears, the Great Bear Rainforest in British Columbia is home to the rare and elusive oh. Kermode polar bear, also known as the spirit bear. Oh. These bears are not albino, but have a genetic mutation that gives them unique white fur. 10. The smallest desert in the world. The yeah. Carcross Desert, located in the Yukon, is often called the smallest desert in the world, measuring just 2.6 square kilometers. Wow! Despite its size, the Carcross <laughs> Desert offers stunning sand dune scenery. That would be cool, man. It is a man. popular destination for hiking and sandboarding. Sandboarding. These ten little-known facts just scratch the surface of what makes Canada an extraordinary place to visit and explore. Whether you're a history buff, a nature enthusiast, or simply looking for a unique travel experience, oh, look at that. Canada has something to offer everyone. Yeah. What facts do you know? Share in the comments. Mate, that was really, really cool. There are so many things that I still need to learn about Canada. So when I come across these videos, mate, I jump on them. I absolutely love them. Oh, my gosh. Canada is just like, it's the country that keeps on giving, guys. Like, absolutely beautiful. Jump on in the comments. Tell me a fact that you know about Canada. Tell me what's your favorite thing about Canada. We'll read them in the comments. We might even do a video about it. So, yeah, that was really, really cool. What's my favorite thing about Canada? Oh, mate, there's just so much. I've actually never been there. I'm trying to get there. We'll get there one day. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, mate. St. John's, I want to go to St. John's. I just, I, I, I want to go to St. John's, but I also want to go, love to go to the, the hometown of Hayden, Hayden Christensen. <laughs> Yeah, I, I might get myself in a bit of trouble if I went there, but yeah, all good. Okay, guys, that was the video for today. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That would really help me out. Cheers to Mount Under. Take care. Bye.